It's a controversial issue. We're going backwards. It'll be like Prohibition days. But what really is the solution to the violent behaviour in our city in the early hours of the weekend? The main talking point for the last few weeks has been the issue of a three hour mandatory closure between 4 and 7 a.m. The government says there's no need for the state to stay open 24 hours and a three hour break will not harm the state's reputation. Look, I, I don't think our community really needs 24 hour licensed drinking. The proposal will give the general public 21 hours of licensed drinking every single day, the special holidays uh, excluded of course. 21 hours of drinking time a day I think is, is plenty of time for, for anyone. Changes come after an increase in alcohol fueled crime and violence, with hopes that new proposals will make the streets safer in the early hours of the morning. But representatives of those affected feel that no positive effects will come of the curfew. On Saturday mornings and Sunday mornings, which are the two peak nights, we're going to have several thousand uh, uh, customers, uh, punters, all of those people, and several hundred employees all leaving the venues at once. Um, they'll be looking to how do they get home, how do they go somewhere else. There's inadequate public transport in Adelaide. Uh, there's totally inadequate taxi solutions in Adelaide and it's got a recipe for disaster. The focus in the past weeks has been on the three hour mandatory closure of pubs and clubs but that's not the only solution the government's put forward. We believe the, the way to decrease alcohol fuelled violence and crime particularly around our entertainment areas is to come at that from a range of different perspectives. Andrew Wallace, President of the Adelaide West End Association has expressed concerns over how safe the entertainment area is in the early hours of the morning. His motivations are for a safer Hindley Street. If you work in the West End of Adelaide, uh, you will be often confronted, even during the weekdays, by drunks wandering around on the streets, begging for money, harassing you. You'll be confronted by vomit, blood, urine, or worse, in the streets. And it's very difficult to uh, run a daytime business when you're actually faced by this on a day-to-day -day basis. It's dangerous for the staff, more so in the morning than it is late at night. But affected parties are also concerned about how lack of public transport will cope with the influx of departing patrons early in the morning. It's not going to change an awful lot of things because you're still going to get you people um, who are drunk, who are out in the street. Um, at four o'clock, they're all of a sudden, they're going to be kicked out of where they are and we're going to have a mass of people at four o'clock down Hiney Street. Uh, I, I suspect people won't go home at four o'clock. They'll hang around the railway station, they'll go down to the river banks and, as they, uh, and create problems down there. They'll go to the pizza bar up the, up the road in Hindley Street that's going to be licensed for 24 hours and they'll buy a pizza and continue to consume alcohol. I, I think it'll be, nothing positive will come out of it. Our reputation will be, will be damaged to some extent. However, the Minister says she has a plan for the transport issues and has already discussed investment into the problem. Currently, the peak dispersal of crowds from our CBD is in fact between 2 a.m. and 3 a.m. in the morning. So the 4 a.m. closure, in fact, that, that bulk of the crowd has already left or is leaving the area. We've uh, provided some new money, $80,000 uh, each year, uh, to um, look at introducing uh, up to four new managed taxi ranks, a very uh, cheap and effective and efficient way to help uh, improve crowd dispersal. One thing that most people agree on is the need for Hindley Street to get a bit of TLC. You can go down Hindley Street and you can see buildings with holes in windows that have been there for years with pigeons flying in and out of them. Now that's just not right in the middle of the CBD of Adelaide. So if our street is presented in a better way, then you'll attract a better quality of business and a better quality of clientele to our street. In the mornings, on a Sunday morning, I see the street cleaners down there and they're wiping up all the surface uh, grime out of the street. But what it really needs is a high pressure hose to go down there and clean it up. It needs brighter lights, more festive atmosphere. Um, maybe some greenery, more pot plants, things to make it look nice. Because once you've got something looking nice, it'll eventually attract the right kind of people. While involved parties still continue to debate the proposed issues, the bill has only just been introduced into Parliament. It will be discussed and decided upon beginning in May. Emma Davis, Inside Adelaide.